In this segment, we'll show you how to attach the spool assembly and the wheels to the tray assembly. To begin, turn the tray upside down. While standing behind the tray, insert the long end of the shaft through the end plate hole on your right and the short end of the shaft through the end plate hole on the left, making sure that the bent end of the middle brace rests flat against the tongue. Slide a 3 quarter inch flat washer, part N, and a wheel bracket, part 2, onto the end of the shaft. If there's not enough space on the shaft with the wheel bracket, you may remove the 3 quarter inch flat washer from the end of the shaft. Now, turn the wheel bracket to point in the opposite direction from the lift lever and secure it with 1 quarter inch by 1 and 3 quarter inch hex bolt, part B, and 1 quarter inch nylock nut, part K, tighten securely. Next, attach a wheel, part 12, to each wheel bracket as shown, with a half inch by 3 and a half inch hex bolt, part A, two half inch washers, and a half inch hex jam nut, part L. and a half inch nylock jam nut, part H. Adjust the nuts so that the wheel is held securely with minimal end play while allowing the wheel to spin freely. Then, repeat this process for the other wheel. And finally, tilt the aerator back and rotate the middle brace flush up against the tongue, aligning it on the side of the tongue that is next to the lift lever assembly. Secure the middle brace by inserting two hex bolts, part D, through the top of the tray, through the tongue, and fasten with two 3 8 inch by 1 inch hex bolts, part D, and 3 8 inch nylock nuts, part I, from the bottom. Do not fully tighten these bolts at this time.